What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So, guys, I have been in the YouTube community for going on almost eight years, if not longer than that. I've seen a lot of people come, a lot of people go. Unfortunately, I've witnessed people die. Um, I had three YouTube colleagues, two of them were close to me, die last year. Simple to P and Kevin, right? Alan Roger Curry also passed. So I've seen a lot of things happen. I've seen people, you know, blow up. I've seen people fall. And one thing I noticed is that um, the players change, but the game remains the same. And so what you see is as content creators move on, different content creators fill the gap. Now, I want to talk about um, Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels took, I would say, the manosphere uh, to another level, holding women accountable, right, to a certain degree, and even men too. And you also saw somebody do it in a different way at the same time as Kevin was rising, which is the Fresh and Fat podcast. So the Fresh and Fat podcast was something that had never been done before. There was never a live stream podcast for men that included big time names, big time guests. And this is why Pearly Game um, went to the Fresh and Fit. And then she she got on the show one day. She's one of the ladies there. She uh, she learned their system. And while she doesn't get as many live viewers as them, she puts out, she's a content factory. She puts out a lot of content, a lot of YouTube shorts, a lot of TikTok shorts. And uh, she's a business person. Okay. And she built that team with a lot of the black brothers and sisters over in, in, in black London. So she basically took the fresh and fit format, um, made it a lot less controversial, took it to the black British market and then boom, you know, all, you know, she was, she's blowing up. Right. But now as Andrew Tate is in jail, she's even becoming bigger. And as you notice, as Andrew Tate is in jail, she's causing more of a ruckus. All right. Now, what is her strategy? The pregame, which is her main show, she does three times a week. It's pretty much about the same repetitive topics, modern women and this and that. And so what she does with that, um, it, for most people, it's not so much of a, um, a great show for her audience. It, like if you look at it, it's, Really, that's that much of an exciting show to be real. She takes that show and um, she chops that show into many parts, and boom, clip, 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 like getting hell of views. It's a view, view, view counting machines. Boom, 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 right? And if you look at every show, let's look at the lives. Modern women don't care about beauty standards. Do modern women deserve respect? All modern women blame relationships, right? So modern women, all of this is the same thing. Women hate. So modern, modern. So a after a while, this is gonna this is gonna get boring, right? For the most part, this is not gonna be att attractive as content. This is like beating a dead horse. And Pearly Things knows that. Okay. So what she's doing now is she's slowly transitioning into what I would consider. Um, not necessarily white supremacist content, but it's something that where she can engage white supremacists or controversial figures, very similar to like value tainment or Adam 22. So she, she doesn't really bring a lot of new things to the market. She's kind of a copy and paste kind of person. So she's seeing where the trend is going. Let me kind of grift and go there. Right. And we know that because of who her manager is. All right. Now, the the manager with, with, that she's going to be dealing with is Kobe DeVito, a former colleague of Shapiro at the Daily Wire. And so this is where she's going with her content. She's not going to be talking about modern women in the future. You're seeing the change and the change is going to be filled with how she truly feels about certain issues in which she would have never said up front. And 
and and and and what's that going to be? That's going to be, in my honest opinion, taking shots at the blacks. Now y'all gonna not gonna like this, but if you can think about it, it's already been happening. The first thing that she does is she allows the blacks to come on her podcast and talk about each other and then say, okay, well, you know, I'll just post it there. Right now on the Nick Fuentes interview, we're starting to hear what she said about slavery, how she feels about blacks and slavery, taking shots at, Oh, you know, Africans are being late. And the guy goes, well, he's, he's black and laughing at that. So we're starting to see where she really is, which is a right winger conservative. Anybody who engages a racist on their platforms. I, I got to I don't care if you're black, anybody who ever debates or meets racist. I'm, I'm just I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm, I'm a little bit perturbed by that. Right. So my, I'm there with my eye like, OK, what's going on? But look at who the manager is, a former colleague of Ben Shapiro at the Daily Wire. Because this is the playbook. This is her office of coordinator. And you're seeing the change right before your eyes. This is the same thing that Adam 22 is trying to do. Adam 22 is doing the same playbook. He recently asked Tariq Nasheed, could he come out and interview this white guy? You know, same thing with Valuetainment. Valuetainment is they're trying to do the same. So these guys are all in the business. These guys all know each other. Right? These guys all know each other. They want to go out. They, so they're going from the red, like everybody is covering the red pill right now, right? The red pill content is dying. Everybody wants to go to controversial issues, almost going towards racism. Okay. And this is the play book. And they're using the blacks. And I'm talking about Adam 22 and just pretty things to do it. And I'm going to tell you exactly whose fault it is. It ain't even her fault. It's our fault. Like black people, we, we get mad at everybody else. We don't want to tell our story. So when we don't tell our story, somebody invites us to the room because we like to make money, but we don't want to reinvest, right? Okay, so we'll fly you X, Y, and Z. We'll bring you here. Do X, Y, and Z. And and then and then they'll benefit off of us, build the fan base off the collaborations, then boom, here they go to what they really want to do. And that ain't nobody false but ours. Because a lot of us in the black community, we don't want to pay nobody. We gotta be honest about it. We don't want to be in the business. We get mad at other people for want for getting in the business that we don't want to be in. That's how we are, man. We get upset, man. And I'm telling you, like, you, you, you know, it's one thing to get mad at just pretty things that I'm 22, but it's another thing to get mad at yourself. Why don't you tell your story? It's money in this. We can take our money and do something with us. We can invite our own folks. Shout out to Earn Your Leisure. They're doing it the right, 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 right way. Okay? I got a podcast, the King Guy in the Podcast. We doing it here in Africa. But brothers and sisters got to tell their own story. And then not being used for a, for a large grift and then getting mad when somebody start, you know, disrespecting your people because they're going to do that when you don't tell your own story. They're going to do that when you don't work together. And it's all going to be our fault because ultimately this is about making money to many people. That's why I never left the black sector of, 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 of social media. I could have I could have went real big conservative or a liberal whatever you want to call it, political thing i love politics i could have went real big into that but i'm not passionate about about that so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk appreciate you for all that you do subscribe to the bell i'm out